the definitive history of pirates. Ahoy, me hearties. I'm about to give you all a lesson in the history of pirates. It's time to weigh anchor and batten down the hatches because you've got a big storm coming. Pirate history. You see, piracy began more than 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece. Piracy was at its peak between 1620 and 1720. It was a golden age of piracy, to be sure. Ah, but there were many a different type of pirate. A corsair was a pirate who strictly roamed the Mediterranean. A privateer be the name given to any armed ship or crew who are licensed to attack an enemy ship. And finally, we have the buccaneers, who were originally hunters of cattle and pigs, but now the common name and term for pirate. The Code of Conduct. Most seamen took to piracy in the hopes of becoming rich and leading to a better life. However, they had to abide by the rules enforced by the captain of the ship. These rules were often strict, and breaking them meant punishment by death. A lot of the rules included fairness and equality and loyalty to your fleet. Be it true or be it false. Number one. Pirates would make people walk the plank. False. Pirates had many punishments at our disposal. Making them walk the plank was not something we commonly did. We could be a little more creative than that. Number two. There were female pirates. True. There were many female pirates, although in order for a woman to be accepted into a new crew, she had to dress up and pretend to be a man. Number three. Pirates no longer exist. False. There are still pirates around today, but they don't look like typical pirates. Modern pirates steal billions of pounds worth of cargo and ships every year. So keep your eyes peeled, and next time you're near the sea. Famous pirates. William Kidd was a Scottish pirate who attacked a vessel belonging to the East India Trading Company. He was hunted for his crime and decided to bury his treasure on Gardner's Island. Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, was one of the most notorious English pirates of all time and was feared greatly. He had four pirate ships and an army of 300 crew. Twas the Irish born and bonnie fell in love and married a sailor, but she grew disappointed with his lack of bravery. Her husband then turned out to be the person who turned her in for her crimes. Finally, Henry Morgan was a Welsh pirate commissioned by the English to fight against the Spanish. He became vastly wealthy and retired from piracy to become the governor of Jamaica in 1674. Will that be all for me, ye land lovers? I'll be on me way to do some more plundering and count me de blooms. Savvy?